Hello and welcome to this heavy game introduction tutorial. In this video you will discover the basics of the software in just a few minutes. To create a mapping we simply need a computer with EVM, a projector and any kind of volume to project on. Let's start with a quick overview on the interface. When first opening the app, the welcome window gives you access to help and learning resources. Here we will start with an empty project. The work area is an artboard on which you create your mapping. The darker rectangle is a projection zone. The toolbar contains the main features that you need in your workflow. For example, the shapes and creative tools help you draw your mapping easily. The layer panel lets you manage groups, shapes and the hierarchy of all these layers. The properties panels allow you to add and set effects on multimedia content in your mapping. Then you can divide the projects in sequences with different content and organize them in a sequencer. Finally, the tempo and audio models give you the tools to match sound and visuals. First of all, let's open the projection. You have two options. The windowed projection allows you to get a preview on your computer and the full screen mode allows you to launch the projection on one and more projectors. Here we are going to launch a full screen projection on Display 1, our projector. Let's start mapping. You can activate the cursor to see the pointer in this projection. Drag and drop shapes from the toolbar and place their points to map your volume. The faces of your mapping appear in the layer on the left. Then you can quickly rename, hide or lock them for example. You can also create faces point by point with the draw mode. Put the final touches by adjusting points with the arrow keys. We can then start adding group effects in your mapping. We can remove the default white border and activate other effects with the on-off toggles above the tabs. You can then vary the many parameters and combine effects. Here these effects are applied to all faces in group 1. Let's create a new group and use it to add different group effects. Let's add a filling effect this time. and combine it with a transformation effect. Nice! In the timeline, we can then create a new sequence. In it, we can add different effects or content. In addition to effect, there is another type of content, multimedia sources. They are contained in player shapes. Here, let's add a video in it. They are free display mode for a player. Background. Here the player is in its entirety. All groups, the media is displayed in all faces. Solo group, the media is displayed in a specific group only. Players can also be combined with effects from the library. Here, the stripes effects is applied on the top of the video. After, we can add some output effects, which are applied on wall sequences and non-containing groups. First, let's activate a post shader. These are organized in a list. Here, the strobe affects the wall sequence. Before launching a performance, you can also set durations. And prepare transition between sequences. It's possible to activate a transition effect at the start and at the end of a selected sequence.
to see the transition in action, simply start the playback of the sequence. That's it for the basics of video mapping with HeavyM. You are now ready to create your first project. Afterward, don't hesitate to check out other tutorials to improve your skills, or discover the many other futures of HeavyM. Mm -hmm.